you can show your book and we are live. Uh, thank you for joining us with Interchain Live here. I'm Ryan Munn in Vermont here and we've got uh, Muhammad Sadiq who is the uh, host of Growth Hacking Show. Uh, you can find that on YouTube and he's a writer of a, of a book here which he's got with us to share. Uh, thanks for joining us, Muhammad. Welcome, thank you so much Ryan for having me. Awesome. Well, thank you for reaching out. You know, this started because you reached out on LinkedIn and, you know, I think LinkedIn's, you know, definitely an interesting place. It's not your typical social media. It seems like there's a lot of people truly interested in actually having a conversation and uh, moving things forward. So thank you for doing that. You're welcome. I was, I, I learned this one from my mentor 15 years ago that we need to learn how to outreach to strangers because you are going to do some business with strangers, not with your friends and most of the time. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, so, so, uh, I'm really glad that you can join us. Um, I know that you've got a lot of things going on, and I'd love for you to share some of it. Uh, but first and foremost, I guess, what's kind of the the most uh, prevalent thing right now? Is it the Growth Hacking Show? Is that your primary project at the moment? This show has been always my in with the different names over the years. You know, okay. uh, always has been like outreaching to the potential guests and learning from their experience because I'm a student for life. Life to me is learning is forever. So keep learning from other people's experiences. That includes what I'll ask them what mistakes they have done. So I can avoid those mistakes myself. And at the same time, what are their success secrets so I can learn from their success. So that uh, that's the only way I learned from my mentor 15 years ago. That's the only way you can speed up your process path to you know get there. And when you get stuck, what you do in your life, how to to the same people who you learn from. So that's right. Yeah. Well, you know, I think uh, I think that's why we hit it off so quick because I definitely uh, I call myself a lifelong student. Um, I cringe when anybody uh, refers to themselves as, as an expert, uh, and even when I do it myself. And at the same time, <laughs> you know, we all have to try to sell some expertise to to make business happen. But it, it really is, you know, what we what, what I hope to to see a future of is where we actually measure expertise as an ability to learn. Right. Definitely, and, uh, definitely, definitely. So I really appreciate that. So I'm sharing uh, Muhammad's website here, and um, anybody can find that at uh, uh, meetsadiq.com. And um, it, why don't you share with me uh, when did you write the the book that you're um, uh, the new success secrets book I wrote uh, earlier this year in March uh, 2018. This is a new success secret. The secret is uh, is very very simple. Yeah. You work with the team. You don't yeah. try to work on your own. That's a very success. How you how to build, run, and manage an unstoppable success team. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, you know it's uh, definitely rings true here. Um, you know, in every project I've been involved with, it seems like that is the thing that will make or break a, a project or a company or a startup. Um, you know, even if it's a you know well established company, you know people change, positions change, and if the team falls apart, um, you know it can have some consequences. But if you have an amazing team, you get some pretty amazing things to happen. So uh, that's that's excellent. So. When did you, how long did you work on that book? It is, uh, I think it's probably three Wait. to four years. <laughs> All yeah. right, I went back out of it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. All right. See, very friendly, reaching out. If someone goes to the website, uh, hopefully you're there to have a conversation. <laughs> um, so yeah, so and you've gotten you know you've gotten published in a few different places, but you're yeah, publishing publisher, these... publisher of multiple business magazines like a billionaire mentor magazine, real estate income magazine, and work from home magazine. Excellent. So billionaire mentor, like I learned from the best of the best, that shows you the and and real estate is my passion and work from home. So I whatever I do, I you know I have to love what I do. So it's not like a, no binding. Absolutely. Now you're based in New Jersey, but working from home is a big, you know, very popular thing in Vermont. We even passed a bill this year to uh, offer some big incentives for people to relocate to Vermont and work remotely. Uh, yeah. But so, what's that like for you? What What's working remote like for for you in New Jersey? I'm in a base in, in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. No, that's fine. That, that's fine. We are, we love it. New Jersey is a good place too. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, still, still metro. That was kind of my <laughs> that was my contrast. I was going for. Uh, you're definitely in a metro area compared to Vermont. But you know, so what's working at home do for you there? 
you know it's great i have been working from home for about 20 years like wife my wife says goes somewhere so you are always at home 24/7 <laughs> yeah yeah how, yeah you know however i dedicated office where i can go into the office just like an office mode so and you know do everything and most of my whole day is like talking to people like you on being a guest or being most of the time i'm the host however i you know blessed with the opportunity to being a guest in the show my book the new success secrets and it's great and the city is great they're very tech oriented there are so many events i go and meet people i am like i love meeting people especially the very successful ones and 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 i don't ask them about their successes i ask about the what the kind of mistakes they have done right so they recovered the from that and that's an i can learn so i don't have to go through those mistakes you know so. absolutely so now are you a member of uh, some co-work space in the area there that kind of keeps you in 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 some extra connection with the city or you know how do you connect with some of those events to get out of the you know cuz working from home is great but you do have to get out of the house you, your wife's right <laughs> 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 no because i have interviewed so many guests from atlanta area and because they, when they like me as a host they say, sidik oh you are in atlanta let's meet for a coffee that we keep me yeah. going and then i asked them what type what are the good, best events they have gone this year in in atlanta so i asked their recommendation before even i go to the event because you know not every event is the way you want to go and you ask for a recommendation we live in a recommendation age you know so yeah absolutely absolutely yeah no that's great that's great so so now um i i forget how much we talked about this but i'm curious because we didn't talk too much about blockchain but um uh, that's obviously you know heavy on my uh profile um what has been your experience or where have you connected with blockchain around business conversations and around atlanta uh, you know blockchain there's a called government blockchain association uh, they are based in i think uh, in washington dc and they are in uh, over 90 like cities in seven continents yeah yeah in vermont <laughs> yeah yeah and they, they also have a chapter here in atlanta and the, you know the guy runs it i spoke with him the other day i'm a student when it comes to blockchain yeah So you met Randall that's who you're talking about Randall yeah, Perez yeah. and I spoke with him I have not met him in person and definitely I'm going to be that's on my to do list I'm going to meet him in next maybe week or two week time you know excellent and, excellent you know and I'll drop another name right here too uh Linda Getz she's based in Atlanta I believe and she is working with the uh Blockchain Chamber of Commerce and both you know similar but different organizations doing very strong things uh and and yeah. amazingly a resource in your neighborhood Yeah, definitely i appreciate that so in fact i interviewed the president of that uh, you know the government blockchain association oh gerard yes yesterday gerard oh so, excellent yesterday that's how we connected the interesting people so yes absolutely that's amazing that's my way of learning about anything new just talk to the top people in that area and just when they're talking just shut up and listen okay <laughs> great point well that leads into my next question because i was going to say hey let's circle back what you know what would be like you know give us a tidbit for growth hacking what have you picked up recently on your growth hacking show yeah the growth hacking show i picked uh, the because i interviewed like about 10 to 12 people every week that's a mm-hmm. lot of lessons like almost like reading a 10 to 12 books every week you know yeah yeah and here's a common theme never try to go on yourself alone go with this team and when you hire a people in your team they should be more smarter you should not be the smartest person in the room number 1 number 2 is when you are actually the people actually they don't take care of their vendors they don't take care of their employees they say oh our customer is always right customer you need to take care of your employees the way you want your because employees are going to take care of your customers so they treat your employees very well i think that's a very very valuable lesson and don't treat your vendors it's okay to negotiate the price whatever however you know what they have so much knowledge about your industry because you are not the only customer for them you, if if you are nice with them be thankful to them so because they are a part of your supply chain yeah and they can that's give you so much knowledge about that industry Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you know that's great great. You know to to sum that up I often tell people we're always selling to everybody. Whether yeah. you're an employee or an employer, you're an employee selling yourself to your employer, you're an employer selling your company and your product to your employee and whether they're a salesperson or they're just the, you know, they're a customer service person or they're the person sweeping the floor, yeah. how they interact with your people, whether they're other employees vendors or customers is going to be reflected by how you interact with them as an employer. So that's that's amazing Definitely. advice. Definitely. Um 
Excellent. So, so one last question I want to, uh, before we, we wrap this up, I'm, I'm really curious, you know, from what you know of blockchain and what you see of the, the business technology and really the growth hacking world, it's all about, you know, these new tools that are constantly coming on the scene and how they're being leveraged. And, you know, blockchain has its place. I, I see where it kind of fits in in many places, but it's, it's on the forefront. It's really still about people, in my opinion. Um, and so I'm curious, you know, kind of what your perspective is on where blockchain plays into this and how technology as a whole uh, is kind of taking things forward. You know, for in layman language, blockchain is a deception to the whole world. Yeah. And it's yeah. creating a playing field for everyone so that way everyone can talk, actually do a business with anyone without a middleman. That's a very, very layman language. And however, it requires a lot of sophistication and programming and implementation and all the contracts and agreements and directly going with each other. And no one can actually, you know, if it, everyone will be almost like an equal field. So that's the only way I think eventually, hopefully in our lifetime, I'm wishing I can see that ending the poverty because everyone will be told with the same, almost like a currency and also the same tool set all around the world. That's my understanding. Very basic. Uh, Thirty-five thousand view of uh, understanding of the blockchain. Well, that's great, you know, and I think that you know it's it's one of the things that that piques many people's interest. And you know, I've heard a lot of people ask, you know, what kind of got you into blockchain and crypto? Because I talk a lot in that space, and almost across the board, it's at some point, and it's not always when they first learned about it, but it's at some point in the experience when they recognize the the democratizing impact um, and some of the opportunities for you know a true meritocracy. Uh, applied to different industries and, and different systems. So, um, you know, it's, 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 it's amazing to hear that same voice echoed uh, from many directions. So thank you. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely. You know, that's always a great because that will level playing field for everyone have the similar opportunities to grow as a human anywhere in the world. That solves so many issues all around the world. That's excellent. That's amazing. Well, thank you, uh, Mohaban, for for joining me today. I really appreciate your insight and what you're doing with thank the Growth Hacking so Show. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for having Folks, me. This is available on Amazon and Kindle and also the hardcover. It's a good, great gift for as a holiday. You know, to awesome. The, yeah. yeah, guys, go out, check out the book, um, and uh, check out the show. You can find them on YouTube. Uh, and uh, find Muhammad Sadiq on LinkedIn, a uh, friendly guy, and I encourage you to have a conversation with him as well. Wonderful. Have a great day. Thank you all for joining us on Interchain Live. Thank you. Thank you.